physics strategy to score 40 on 40 in semester 2. I posted this poll to know which subject strategy you want and 55% of you voted for physics. Even I voted for the same. And do you know why everybody voted for physics? Because most of you have not scored well in semester 1. But I am here to help you. I will tell you how you can score 40 on 40 in semester 2. Score is easy. Yes, absolutely. You can score 40 on 40, but you have to follow my tips. And trust me, if you follow all of them, I guarantee 40 on 40 in your semester 2. Now, physics is divided into four parts. You have your theory, reasoning questions, diagrams and graphs, and numericals. And the reason you scored less in semester 1 is you emphasized more on theory part. You didn't pay attention to the numericals and the reasoning questions. Planning to ace your semester 2 board examination? Then you should buy sample question papers of Oswald books. These books are available in all the subjects. Chapter wise mind maps will help you to learn all the formulas and important concepts. You will get chapter wise notes solved and unsolved sample question papers that will help you to assess yourself. Even in chemistry, everything is covered, be it on tips notes or mind maps, solved and unsolved question papers that will help you to improve and boost your preparation. You will also receive amazing gift vouchers or coupons so that you can avail discount in the next purchases. More than 80% of the concepts tested in semester one were covered by Oswald sample question papers. Link to purchase them is in the description box. Now I'm going to tell you all the tips. The first one is concentrate on the reduced labels. You can go to the website of council that is uh, cisce.org where you will get the bifurcated labels. In case you're not able to know about the labels, you can also ask your teachers. Uh, they'll help you out to deduct the unimportant part and the part that is not in the labels. This is the first step. You will be asking your teachers what topics are there in your syllabus and you will only uh, prioritize them. You will study them. And uh, the second tip is you have to figure out what is not important. For example, AC generator, they'll ask you normally, but they will never ask you the working of AC generator or DC motor because it is very lengthy and theoretical parts like these are never asked in board examination. You can see the sample question paper uh, of uh, CISC, the semester two specimen question paper. It has uh, one or two, three mark questions and they are asking this part wise. They will not give you a single question of four mark in which you have to write this working or this long theory. So you have to figure out the unimportant parts, deduct them. You don't have to study, don't waste time. Uh, now focus more on the important part so that you can score well. The third tip is numericals. Now how to study numericals and uh, if you are not able to solve them, then what is the strategy for that? Right? You can maintain a formula notebook. Please uh, write down all the formulas, cover all chapter formulas and revise them daily. These are the basic formula and uh, most of your board questions are asked from these rudimentary formulas. SI units must be noted. You should have a clear difference of SI and CGS units whenever you are answering or you are solving the numerical and you have to note down what is the unit given in the question and uh, what do you want in uh, the answer because they will ask you to give the answer in SI unit and you have to convert it uh, accordingly. Second is please solve previous year questions this will come to your rescue. Trust me, if you do 10 years uh, question paper, the past 10 years, it will help you a lot in figuring out uh, what question paper will you get in your board examination, right? Please do the back exercises and examples. They are solved and you can also refer to the websites that have solved numericals. In case you're not able to do any question, you can also... Um, text in telegram group which is my group where students discuss their doubts or questions and you can also buy oswald books uh, they are highly recommended they'll help you out uh, to solve the questions or numericals they'll give you chapter wise notes now fourth is reasoning part if you're not able to answer the reasoning questions you don't know 
how to answer them what uh, logic is to be applied then you should focus on the theory part also of course you cover the theory but you're not able to answer uh, the reasoning questions why is it so because you have not noted down the keywords of the definitions whenever you read a definition you will always get the keyword that is the main point it is also the marks booster and you have to underline the keyword whenever you are answering any definition or any reasoning question whenever your examiner checks your copies he or she will only see the keyword if it is mentioned he or she will give you full marks for that i would like to tell you about uh, this thing like when you are not able to answer or solve any numerical you don't know which uh, formula to apply then you can apply this trick you have to note down all the values that are given for example they have uh, provided you with mass and uh, acceleration okay so i'm telling you a sample question you will not get very easy questions and they have asked you about force so you will write these values and you will just make up the formula of this if you try to concentrate you know that there is one formula f is equal to ma and that is how you will put the values and get the answer okay you will have to write the values that are provided and uh, then make up the formula the possible formula if you are able to recall what formulas you have learned then you can write them and please make sure that the unit is correct i have written 20 unit because you know that newton can can be written as 1 kg meter per second square right now there is a reasoning question which you can answer i'll tell you how you can answer and uh, what should you include to score full in that part now what property of water makes it an effective coolant so you'll answer like water is an effective coolant by allowing water to flow in pipes around the heated parts of a machine heat energy from such part is removed water in pipes can extract more heat from the surroundings without much rise in its temperature because of its high specific heat capacity right this is the keyword if you underline this and you mention this keyword then nobody can stop you to score full examiners will never go through your answer they'll never see the language they'll only emphasize on the keyword right now uh, the last tip is practice 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 my uh, recommendation is you should solve past year question papers after you have completed all your chapters and i will also tell you a very very uh, helpful website for physics that is knowledge boat.com now this website is not sponsored it's not my website but uh, it is a very helpful website if you want physics answers all the uh, numerical solutions then you should visit this website the last tip is the exam tip for the final day please do not write long answers in physics you don't have to write uh, answers like you do in history you have to only mention the keyword and the appropriate answer if you start writing long answer and explanation that is not required you will only waste time you will still get that one or two marks but you will not be able to complete your question paper maybe some questions will be left after that and uh, time will not be left for you so it's my suggestion to stick uh, to what is asked if they have asked resonance then just define it okay natural uh, frequency and the forced uh, vibration that is applied its frequency when these both are equal then it is resonance so you have to give these keywords and you have to answer the definition please do not include the examples also then the answer will be very long 